Guys and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science! Size you can do right at home! I'm just chowing down on some metal and going over today's science file. And today's science file, what's that? Is there really metal in our food? Well, that's a great question. Try this! You will need a zipping bag, some cereal, some water, and a strong magnet. Okay, it is true. You do eat metal when you eat food. Like the iron in this nail. In fact, I can show you some iron filings in your cereal. Now, for legal reasons, I can't tell you what cereal I'm going to use. But what I can say is you want to get a cereal that is as close as you possibly can to the total amount of iron in your daily value. Start by getting yourself a plastic zipping bag, and you're going to pour it in your cereal. The bit the living crap out of that cereal! Now, pour some water in the bag, and then zip the bag shut. Now, you can let this sit for like four or five minutes, but I prefer the method of shake, shake, shake! So I'm going to shake mine up! <laughs> Uh, once you're finished shaking, uh, you should get a goopy mess like this. If there's any whole flakes in there, you're just going to kind of squeeze them up at the bottom corner until you get them into like tiny itty bitty pieces. Now get yourself a strong magnet, place the magnet on top of the bag, flip it over, and you're going to let this sit on your hand for about 10 or 15 seconds. Then flip this over and remove the magnet. Then check it out, you got little iron filings right there, they came right on your cereal. Okay, so why are there metals in our food? And what do each of the metals do in our body? Well, don't look at me, take a closer look. Goodness. Minerals are needed in your body in small amounts to trigger thousands of chemical reactions necessary to maintain a healthy body system. If there is a missing or a lacking mineral anywhere in the chemical reaction chain, this could stop or even create weaker chemical reactions down the line, creating disastrous health effects. Potassium, a metal found in rocks, is needed to control salt levels in your bloodstream. Magnesium, a metal that makes sparks, is needed for muscle contractions as well as healthy bone growth. Calcium, an alkaline metal, is needed to strengthen bones and teeth in your body. Iron, like that found in nails, is needed in your red blood cells to help them carry oxygen throughout your body. Zinc, like that found in some battery casings, is needed for our immune system as well as brain function and growth. Copper, like in pennies, is needed for chemical reactions in certain enzymes in your cells. As well as other non-metallic minerals, like phosphorus, which is found in some match heads, is needed in the adenosine triphosphate cellular respiration chemical reaction. In fact, if you didn't eat these small amounts of metal, you wouldn't be alive today. So now you know why we have to eat metal. You know, eating metal is why science is so cool.